Now the first command we're going to use is the format table command. There are cases where uh, PowerShell will automatically format list. In other words, it won't be in the table form. It'll be just a vertical list down the screen. Uh, and you can also do some other cool things with format table. So let's take a look at some of the options we have. Let's do a get process. And I'm going to pipe that to a format table. And let's take a look at the output. Well, it looks exactly like the output we saw before because it was already formatted by table. But look at this. It's got these column sizes. In some cases, they're wider than they need to be. So let's do the same command again. But this time, I'm going to add the auto size parameter. And let's see what we get. Ah, look at this. Now, let's compare the output here with the output I had before. See how these were much wider columns, and a lot of these were cut off. Now I can see more of the names over here, because these are all crunched together to get more on the screen. Uh, let's do it by property. Let's say I only want, remember earlier when we did a get process and we couldn't quite tell the name of that VMware one that we were looking for when we were comparing values by property name? So what if I just want the process name? So I'm going to do a format table this time. I'm going to use the property parameter and I'm going to use, for the property, I'm going to use the name. What was that thing called? Let's go back up here and take a look at it. It was called the process name. So we'll use the process name. I should move this picture out of the way, shouldn't I? There we go. We'll do the process name. And now I have just the process names. Kind of sweet. Now, by the way, I can also call up properties that are not showing on here. Uh, if I want to, which I can find out what they are with the GM command or the get member command. Let's do a group by, and for the group by, I'm going to use a different command. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do, do a get service, and I'm going to pipe that to format table, and I'm going to do a group by. And I will group it by um, status, because remember, with services, we have running and stopped statuses. Now, I'm not going to get the output that I might expect. I've got a bunch of stopped, and then a bunch of running, and then a bunch of stopped, like that. Running stopped, running stopped, running stopped. What happened? Well, what happened was, let's get that picture out of the way again. <clears throat> what happened was I didn't sort it first, and so it grouped all the stopped ones that it found, and then uh, there was one running one, so it grouped that, and then it grouped all the stopped ones. So I really should sort this first. So let's go back to that command, and I'm going to put in another pipe, and here I'm going to sort the object as we did in an earlier uh, module. Sort object. And I'm going to sort it by status. There we go. And then I will format it and group by status. And let's see what we have. Ah, now I have all the running ones and I have all the stopped ones all grouped together because I sorted it first. All right, next one is wrap. Let's go back to our get process again. Get process. And then I'm going to pipe that to format table. And I'm just going to turn on the wrap. This is a switch, by the way, so it doesn't require anything else. We can determine that if we were to look at the um, help file, but we we're not going to bother to do that now. And now you can see that what it did is it tried to uh, make multiple lines here so I could see the entire name. And this is that name we were looking for earlier, VMNet, uh, VMNet DHCP. So now I can see the entire name on there because it wrapped this around. So that's the format table command.